Well, good morning, guys. We are on the way to get our next load. Just thought I'd give you a little driving video here. We are en route to Or Grande, New Mexico to pick up some military equipment. And I don't know if you can see those windmills up there on top of the mountain. Uh, no cell service, or at least Verizon doesn't work here. It's kind of windy again today. They're saying there is a uh, ice storm coming. We should be gone. We're going to load in about two hours, I guess. And we're not over width or over height, so we'll be able to run at night. Um, so, yeah. So there's a little tiny windmill, I guess, for water. But I don't know if you can see up there on that mountain, the windmills are going to make power. So... Just about everything we move has something to do with the energy sector, which is a good thing. So, yeah, that's it. It's been some pretty serious, uh, and this road is pretty rough, but that's all right. We're riding in the, uh, in the Bentley, you know, set forward axle, classic. 389 Peterbilt, also known as the Bentley. Some people call it the Dude. So, uh, just thought I'd show you guys that the road's getting a little rough here. Let that truck go by and we'll get back in the middle. So there you go, guys. <clears throat> Very cool place. So I'll uh, make another video here shortly once we get to some more scenic some sites. So I'll be back. Check this out, guys. Straight road headed into the mountains. Seen quite a few cows, some cattle. I haven't seen any deer. Uh, I did see a big nice, looked like an eight point in Iowa, but that was way back. Uh, really cool looking place. Reminds me of where I've done quite a bit of hunting in uh, <clears throat> Valverde County, just over by uh, Del Rio, Texas, other than the mountains. So this is pretty cool. Uh, very little traffic on this road, no cell service. Probably be in trouble if you broke down, right? Hopefully we got enough lesson to get past all that. So yeah, this is pretty cool scenery here. So we'll be back. Coming into a little town here. At the end of the street, turn right. And yeah, we're going to have to make a turn. In a half mile, turn right. Check it out, guys. Really impressive. It's 
starting to get a little bit more traffic. Um, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Definitely a place I will come back to. Check this out, guys. We are uh, entering the White Sands Missile Test Range to get loaded. <clears throat> Probably going to get to a point up here where I won't be able to video, but cool looking little rock with the radar on it. Pretty cool place. Alright guys, we're inside the uh, White Sands Missile Test Range. Getting ready to load. I don't know if you can see it, but that water tower way out there, I mean way out there, that's where we're going. So I'll try to get some footage if they let me. Be back. I don't know if you can see out there, but that's part of the test range. There's a line of tanks following me in. Here's the water tower. Uh, they're probably not going to let me video anything in here. But uh, this is it. I am easily 10 miles down this here rock road. How much more we'll get and there were some other you, you could tell they were weapons some serious stuff in here uh, I didn't get a video of them but here we are so I'll be back quick this is White Sands missile range range is active we are loaded yes I know that's a small load for such a lot of truck but uh, that's what they ordered there's another RGN loading beside me um, really awesome place here so I don't know how good that makes out but uh, the Apaches that's what we're moving is the support equipment for the Apache helicopters. They did all their firing yesterday and the tanks are firing today. You may hear one, they were firing while we were loading. Um, has to be the coolest thing in my lifetime to be here while they're doing that. So, I don't know if you can see way out there but that's where they shoot too and that is the range and there's our 4,000 pounds going to Houston Texas trucks really dirty at this point it is what it is We'll clean it up. I don't know why they ordered such a big truck for a small load, but hey, they paid us well, and uh, we we show up when they need us. Awesome place, man. I could just live here, just you know, be done. I don't think my wife would go for it, but that's it. I'll try and get some more road footage going out of here. Um, I'll check out the power poles. They got a wire, it looks like. On it. That's probably to keep something from climbing it, I bet. Interesting. So that's it, guys. White Sands, New Mexico. We are going to Houston. We'll get a load there. And then we are going home to do some more work. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, this is where you bury dead cats. We are in Alabama, Montgomery. And this is where we're unloading. Looks like a, might be some big bucks around here. So we've already unchained and unhooked. 
we're gonna walk this cat off of the oh look there goes a cat running across the road dead cats so we're gonna unload here and some of you guys wanted to see that so if I can hold the camera and get in the machine and give you a little shot of this thing before I get up in here. This is it. 329F. Not very heavy. We loaded this a few miles from where we unloaded for the military. Uh, the hurricane's bearing down. Gonna impact. I'm not sure if we'll get a load, but we're not far from home. So... Either way, we're going home. So let me climb up in here. All right. So we have ignition. As Jimmy Mount would say, 9.9 .9 on the Richter scale. So, uh, sorry I hadn't got you guys a lot of video, but been kind of busy. I believe that this makes load number four. Um, in two weeks, I'm not sure. But, uh... We're gonna try and get another load. We're gonna look. I don't know if we'll get permits because they're already sending emails saying that they're not gonna issue permits based on the storm. And so I, I'm not sure. So we're gonna try and get off this trailer and not scar up this new asphalt. Of course, they'll blame us for that, right? So we're going to just got some video of a really bad wreck. Guy in a pickup mashed between two dry vanners. Y'all already know how I feel about dry vanners and how fast they drive in the truck stop. I'm, and I might put this video up. I don't know. Um, I need to look at it. I think there's one fatality in the passenger. They were still trying to cut him out. So once I review it, I'll uh, debate on whether I should show that or not. So this is dead cat territory. It's where you go to bury dead cats. Not really. I think these guys are supposed to be digging a big pond or something here. So uh, we'll pull their machinery up here and see if the weeds are going to grow around. Montgomery, Alabama. I got one hand. So that's it, guys. That's it for the Caterpillar. It's got a camera, backup camera. So that's, uh, that's the deal. In the next run, I'm going to give you some driving footage i'm gonna be home for i don't know a week or two ever how long it takes to do all the stuff i need to do and i'll bring the gopro next time so you guys can get some 
driving footage. So, uh, for now, that's all I've got. Dead cats, dude out. Holy smokes!